the topic of today is, is absolutely pertinent uh, for, for today's and tomorrow's economy. And the increased resource efficiency, uh, as we know, it contributes to recovery of uh, European economy and the competitiveness of its industry. Uh, public and private initiatives and investment in sustainability uh, need to go hand in hand. Actions put forward, um, uh, actions by forward-looking business, like the ones that you represent, are at the very core of this transition. And as we see more and more mainstream companies looking for innovative ways to save resources and to do business sustainably. The building sector is one of the most resource-consuming sectors that we have, next to food and transport. This is the reason why we're looking carefully at this part of our society. The communication on resource efficiency opportunities in the building sector, which Commission adopted uh, in July, identifies the need for more transparent and comparable data when it comes to environmental performance of buildings. Whether these buildings are public uh, or private, whether they're residential or non-residential, and it's only with more and better data that we can communicate performance between actors on the supply, as well as on the demand side, to build knowledge and awareness, and finally, the demand. This data is needed to make the business case for sustainable or green buildings so that we can convince the large mainstream part of the sector to step up its efforts and to do so for the good business reasons. The 2014 Global Real Estate Sustainability Benchmark Report concludes that as the coverage of sustainability reporting improves, the actual sustainability performance shows progress. There is no transition without a change in demand. And this is, of course, why stakeholders like yourselves are so important. I understand that most of you are already actively involved in pulling markets of sustainable buildings and generating, as well as using data, related to environmental performance of buildings. And you do this through uh, different existing initiatives for this purpose. These typically use somewhat different approaches, generally focusing on the use phase of the buildings, and in particular, of course, the energy consumption. But the whole life cycle of a building is important, with environmental impacts felt from the production of the construction materials, the construction itself, the use phase, and eventually end of life. The design plays an important role for all these stages. In fact, Property Working Group of the United Nations Environmental Program Finance Initiative concludes that even though much of the data exists today, it is not systematically collected. And importantly, there is a deficit of reporting related to embodied impact of buildings and aspects like recyclability. These are the kinds of aspects we would like to include when developing framework with core indicators to be used for the assessment of environmental performance of buildings. We want to widen the scope of green building beyond energy efficiency and bring in new other elements. We want more buildings than today to be assessed from the environmental performance across Europe. So what kind of data is needed for the supply side and the demand side to be able to communicate with each other, to be useful on both sides and serve at the same time the environment? How could a EU-led initiative in form of a framework with core indicators help make the business case? What tools would encourage actors to make use of the framework? How would data collection and data flow between actors work? These are some of um, the questions which we're eager to hear your thoughts about and your, your thoughts on. With our work to develop framework with a core indicator starting as soon as January, this conference is very, very timely. We see this as a great opportunity for us to learn more about those kinds and uh, about, about those kinds of decisive issues. We also see this as a start of discussion, and we hope that we can continue to have it as the work is developing. I wish you uh, an interesting day, and we'll be listening very, very carefully. Thank you.